In problem 3, 4x squared equals 92, we can take the square root of each side, but before I do that, I'm going to divide each side by 4. And that way, on the left, the 4's cancel out. And I'm left with x squared equals 92 divided by 4, which is 23. So x squared is 23. And then when I take the square root of each side, I get x on the left, and plus or minus the square root of 23 on the right. Again, two answers, and that is both of them, plus square root of 23 and minus square root of 23. And if we needed to, we could convert that to a decimal number, to an approximate decimal number. In number 4, 4x squared equals 25. Again, I'll divide each side by 4, and on the left, the 4s cancel, and I'm left with x squared equals 25 over 4. And now I'll take the square root of each side. When I take the square root of x squared, I just get x on the left. And the square root of 25 over 4, and actually I need to write plus or minus there. I'm going to have plus or minus the square root of 25 over 4. And that square root of a fraction can be split up into two fractions. This will be plus or minus the square root of 25 over the square root of 4 and both of those are perfect squares. The square root of 25 is simply 5 and the square root of 4 is 2, so I have plus or minus 5 halves. And you could write that as a fraction or as a decimal. You could write plus or minus 2.5 and in this case the decimal number is exact. 2.5 is the exact answer. We're not rounding that at all. But either way, written as a fraction or a decimal, is correct. Both of those are exactly the same. Just don't forget the plus or minus. There are two answers in this case, positive 5 halves and negative 5 halves.